last minute, we take you inside Philadelphia Union. The quarters of your ball, it's in. Sports Radio 610 WIP. Welcome back to the 90th Minute, presented by Farmers Insurance. We are here at Chickies and Pete's in Drexel Hill, and our Farmers agent, Susan Klinger, is with you. So if you want to talk soccer, talk to us. If you want to talk insurance, talk to Susan. You know, we're having almost as much fun here as fans have at PPL, PPL Park, guys, and, and our guys make it real easy and probably the best sports bargain around, whether you prefer a partial season ticket plan, focusing on our rivals, the New York Red Bulls and D.C. United, or... Maybe you just want to bring a group of 15 or more to our salute to the Irish Memorial at Penn's Landing next Wednesday against L.A. or get involved with Jewish Heritage Night on June 5th versus Columbus. If you want to get involved, and we hope you do, call 877-21-UNION or online at philadelphiaunion.com. Back to work, Jack. Now, we all know it's good to be young and good-looking and a goal scorer. And from Facebook, the persistent Sarah Ritter Shepherd points out that she continues to ask you to marry her, to which you keep pointing out that she already has a husband. So instead of a proposal this time, Sarah would like to know what you plan on doing for your mother on the 19th of May, which of course is Mother's Day and the day after we have a match at PPL Park. Uh, you know, I'm not, probably not going to see her, but uh, I just I sent her a nice gift in the mail, t- in the mail today, so hopefully she'll get it by then. And What'd you get her? Uh, just... Come on, I can't say it. It's on the radio. I know, no, no, you almost had him though. Well, you I could did. get her a couple, you could get her another goal or two on the yeah, that, that could work too. She'd like that. <laughs> Go ahead, Curry. Jack, as a follow up, I'm going to keep. <laughs> Please, I'm going to keep. Yeah, I'm going to keep this going here uh, with the uh, social media questions, and this one comes from uh, Lucas Murray on uh, Twitter. And just uh, a reminder before we ask this question: if you ever have any questions for any of our guests on the 90th minute, you can send that with the hashtag. Radio question to either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Uh, this one is from Lucas Murray, who asked, Jack, compare the feeling in the locker room this year compared to this time last season. Hmm. Yeah, last year was a, a really, a really rough start. And, uh, you know, this year we, you know, we think our, we think our record's a little better than uh, it shows. But, uh, you know, we're feeling good. We're right in the mix of things. And, uh, you know, there's still a long season left uh, as of last year where we, you know, we ha- only had one or two wins and it was kind of, you know, if you didn't go on a long streak in the middle of the season, then you're kind of, you know, you're in the gutter for the rest of the year. So we're feeling pretty good right now and our, our confidence high. What do you think has changed that? Do you think it's the uh, some of the uh, new newer members in the locker room, just guys coming in with like a new brand of confidence preseason? What do you think uh, sparked that? I think it's just a fresh start. Finally got to to put uh, last year behind us and uh, we knew we uh, made some uh, good moves this off season, and uh, we had a lot of you know young guys playing last year that got some good experience and coming into this year it was just kind of get that fresh start and uh, you know a, a new season to do to do new things all right well you know Chris asked you a question now I want to ask you a question about Chris what kind of teammate is Chris mm-hmm. Chris, yeah. Chris is a character in the locker room. Everyone gets along with him, and uh, you know he's he's causing a scene every day. But uh, causing a scene—that's good. <laughs> good for the, that's good for the radio. Good scene. Good scene. 